Good evening, folks. Welcome back. It's John Pettipot. It's now 20 minutes past 9 o'clock the evening on Friday night, which is the 13th day of August 2021, and it's the last week before our provincial election. And I saved the best for the last. This evening, I'm focusing on Honorable Lloyd P. Hines, MLA, for the great riding of Guys Bro Tracking and recording from Trackity, Atkinish County, Nova Scotia. The great riding of Guys Bro Trackity. Wonderful places, wonderful writing. Love it. Now, a strong voice for guys for attracting Honorable Lloyd P. Hines. And Lloyd, Lloyd has served the public for a long time, and he's extremely dedicated. It's hard to get men and women that are sincerely interested in politics. This guy's been interested in public service since he served in the school board. His wonderful wife, Patricia, has been at his side for... Um, Next year's 40th year that she's been at his side in public office. Only other one in her league would be Honorable Joan Gillis, Bill Gillis's wonderful late Bill Gillis's widow, who's very much alive, Honorable Joan. And so to take uh, two very capable wives. We've been mentioning the candidates. In this case now we mention the wives. Honorable Bill Gillis's widow, Honorable Joan, and Lloyd, Lloyd P. Hines, liberal candidate, an incumbent member of the legislature for the great riding of Guy's Brook and his wonderful wife, Patricia. She's the youngest of, excuse me, not the youngest, the third youngest, or the 12, one to three, the third youngest of a family of 15. And I said to her one time, Premier Steve McNeil, he's the, uh, so she's the 12th child, third youngest makes her 12 to 15. Steve McNeil is the fifth youngest, 12 to 17. Does the Premier know that? Says, yes, he does. I guess they're in a meeting or something on Hyman. He was, uh, so Premier, former Premier Steve McNeil is a, is a 12 to 17. And Lloyd's wonderful wife, Patricia, is the 12 to 15. So big families. Now, I've mentioned earlier videos about the billion dollar men. Rodney McDonald added a billion dollars to the province's debt. Randy and Laurie added eight, nine hundred million billion dollars to the province's debt through Boat Harbor. They added to the debt. We have here in this province, besides the two, besides the two billion dollar men and the PC side, Rodney McDonald, former MLA and Premier from Mabu, and uh, Randy and Laurie, the present MLA in this writing here of uh, Anakinish. Anakinish, I assume it's the county and town. And we have a gentleman, there's only one gentleman in public office that's ever produced something like this here. And it's the Sable Gas Plant. Sable Gas Plant, it's Exxon, Exxon Shell Oil Consortium. And in between the deal being announced and built, uh, Exxon merged with Mobile. And that production, that the uh, on land uh, fracking plant and gas processing plant produced revenues of $2.6 billion. $2.6 billion for the coffers of the province of Nova Scotia. And as a side, the the municipality district of Guysboro, which is a large section of the Guysboro trackity riding, has, I understand, the lowest residential property tax rates, not only in Nova Scotia, but I'm told in Atlantic Canada, the lowest, Richmond County is very low, but they're even lower. The municipality, MODG, municipality district of Guysboro, has the lowest residential property tax rates in Atlantic Canada, because the people that councillors and Lloyd served as warden for much of that time as well, and missile staff, they all work together, and the people of the great county of Guysboro work together, and they built a, a Sable Wind Farm down in Canso. They have a wonderful uh, next generation landfill site that stuff comes from different areas and it, it makes a profit. And it has some other stuff. They looked at, because of their investments, they're able to provide their people with the lowest residential property tax rate in not only Nova Scotia, but Atlantic Canada. It's easy to criticize. There's an NDP guy who I did a video on already. 
and Mark Strickland from way up. Remember the Friendly John? Way up the eastern shore. Way up there about uh, at uh, Lawrencetown. About 125, 150 miles of riding. And there's this bird here. Morrow. Morrow. It reminds me a lot of Peter McKay. And you know what Peter McKay's father said about Peter McKay. Anyway, his own son. This guy here. What's he ever done? He's been in radio. Interestingly, the radio station he works at is called was called C I think it's one oh point some to Hawk now. It used to be known as CIGO. That radio station was founded by the late Jared Set back in the seventies. And Alec Gillies of Alls Cove, who was a cousin, not Gillis, Gillies, Gillies of Alls Cove, was a cousin of the late saintly Alan J. McHacken. They say all the way with Alan J. So Alec Gillies Major shareholder in CHO, Eastern Group of Companies uh, Broadcasting was called Eastern Broadcasting. Uh, Castors, that was the original name of the company, went to about three different carnations. And they take, and uh, his lovely wife, Alec is now gone, his lovely wife, Mary, is a niece of Angus L., the man that built the Cancer Causeway. This expression, all's well with Angus L., all's well with Angus L. Now, to take and so that's why Greg Morrow spent at Babel on the radio, read the stories and play the songs, give you a little bit of gossip on the on the radio station for a, a number of years. That radio station was started by Jared Set with a major financial backer being Alec Gillies of Alls Cove. Uh, Mulgrave. Mulgrave actually had the car dealership in Alls Cove for, for many years. So interesting side point. The Honorable Lloyd P. Hines, a strong voice for Geisberg Trackery, they take getting our fair share. This is a man that works very hard. Can he solve all the problems? No. Is everything perfect? No. Can you find potholes in the road? Yes. Can you find gravel roads need ditching or gravel on them? Yes. Can you find paved roads could use a recoder or patching? Yes. All true. But I ask you to find another riding in Nova Scotia, formerly the riding of Guys Eastern Shore Trackity, now now reconfigured again to Guysboro Trackity. Guysboro Trackity. And there's been $120 million spent on road work in this riding in the last four years, between May of 2017 up through to the election call, and this work has actually gone going right now as well as we speak. Maybe not as we speak tonight, but it's ongoing in the in the budget pretty process. So you take this guy was campaigning in some ways with his father and he learns ge I love history. I was I love history, but he's learning geography. He was up up beyond Sherbrooke in Mosier River, Muscadagum, Muscadabit, uh, excuse me. Ecom Seekum. Ecom Seekin. Ecom Seekum Spanish at Bay and Mosier River, Luscomeria, and he found out it's a big riding! And it's a very big riding, because we had a fat, alcoholic drunk called Daryl Dexter. And Daryl Dexter had Teresa McNeil from St. of X. She was supposed to be the chair lady of it, but had Jim Beckerton from the university. He's a political scientist. And they created a riding as guys from Eastern Shore Trackley which is within 200 square kilometers of the size of Prince Edward Island. It's within two, that one riding, one representative, is within 200 square kilometers of the size of PEI. And they're wonderful people up the Eastern Shore. God bless their heart, they're fine people. Lots of good potato customers up there. They're just solid customers. You go, you go from uh, Ship Harbor, Spry Bay, Sheet Harbor, Nickem Tuck, Ekem Seekem, Liskem Falls, Liskem, Spanish at Bay, Mosier River, right down to Sherbrooke and Jagog and all those areas. They are solid, <coughs> top notch Nova Scotian fine folks. And at a riding is still, if it's not the biggest in the province, it's the second. I believe, actually, by geography, I believe this riding still is the largest. If not, it's in the top two or three for sure. And there's 55 ridings. So, anyway, the opposition is learning some geography. I like history, and of course, I know what I think about geography. Now, the people of Guysboro County, 
They are very special to me. My first full-time business was in Port Beckerton, the old former Ocean Co-op in Port Beckerton, Guysborough County. You're wonderful, decent, kind, and good people. You can go from you go from Alls Cove, Guysborough County, through Mulgrave, down to Steep Creek, Pirate Harbor, Steep Creek, down to shore, Canso, right up Whitehead. You go uh, to uh, Wonderful Folks, Little Dover, right on through, up along the coast. Wonderful, solid characters. My first full-time business was Guysborough County. And the ride in Alston includes East Atlantic Inish County, Alls Cove Atlantic Inish County, East Tarabushi, Arabushi Village, Big Hill, West Tarabushi, Cape Jack, uh, Frankville, wonderful folks up in Frankville as well, Linwood, you name it, part of Monastery, the Tracton River. It's a big riding. This gentleman has the fire in his belly and a commitment, extra, a proven commitment, a proven commitment to the people. Okay? It's so easy in this world to criticize criticize. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Okay? Half the people that run for public office don't have a clue what they're getting into. Not a clue. And I've been told that by an NDP member from Cape Breton. I've been told that by a couple of PC members. I've been told that by several, uh, one independent, and uh, later became a liberal, and uh, liberal member, and several liberal MLAs in office, in in power in an opposition okay it's a big responsibility okay and you think so honorable lloyd p hines great man done a lot for the area a lot of stuff to be done yet we all know that but working hard heading in the right direction i have a little quote here a little quote be like a poster stamp stick to a thing until you get it done be like this is something like I recorded, I actually didn't record, I, I made a note of it Wednesday night, the 28th, which is just over two weeks ago now. Be like a postage stamp. Stick to something until you get it done. When you have something good, as the late Teddy Maddy said, when you have something good, you stick with it. And we have somebody very sincere and decent and dedicated and honorable Lloyd P. Hines. And it's my pleasure to say I have actively supported this gentleman, and he is a, he is a gentleman, and I'm proud to display a sign to re-elect Honorable Lloyd Hines, Guy's Bro Trackety. This is John Pettypaw. It's about 9.30 in the evening now on the evening of Friday night. This video will be uploaded tomorrow, Friday night, the 13th day of August, and I ask you all to vote. Everybody, regardless of how you vote. I just made a YouTube short video a minute ago, and Honorable Bill Gillison said, don't let anybody ever, a man that wasn't preachy, very down to work cat, very smart, decent, honorable man, certainly as well, in a league by his own. And he said, an exalted league by his own. And he said, don't ever, ever let anybody tell you one vote's not important. He said, I know I lost my first election by less than one vote a poll. So get out there and vote. And this is my video on Lloyd P. Hines, member of the legislature for the great right of Geisberg Trackety. Thank you very much. Promote a discussion. Share it around. And get out and vote. Get out and vote. Thank you. All the best. God bless. And press the subscribe button, please. Thank you. Bye for now.